Notice, a French soldier, they got a bunch of soldiers in from the army and they had this amnesia, some shock on the battle. And they had a program and they, they called up and let people who had missing loved ones to call and see if they could identify these boys. No hope for them. Maybe one or two out of it caught it. And then they took the rest of them and they was going to put them in a sanitarium where they'd have to stay the rest of their life. They was going up the hillside, train pulling and they stopped at a station, let the boys get out and stretch their legs and the guards got out on the hill to watch them because with amnesia why they, they had to watch them. So they watched one young fellow there. He got out and began to look around that water tank. Looked all around over the hill. He rubbed his face and he studied and he looked again and seen that water tank. He looked all around the station and he started walking. Instead of the guard stopping him, he followed him. He went up over the hill, down a little path, turned to the right, went up over another little hill and come to a little log cabin. He looked coming out on the porch and an old man with a cane in his hand come out and throw his arms around him. said, my son, I knowed you would return. They told me you were dead, but I knowed you would return. And the boy come to himself. His amnesia left him. He could identify who he was. He knew that was his father. Oh, soldier of the cross. He's been shocked with so much training. So many shocks of denomination and creed and things of the world. Why don't you just step off for a few minutes and go looking around at the Bible? You might wander around and you might find yourself identified here in the Word. As a believer, one of these days, you might not know him. You may come to yourself like the prodigal son did and find yourself. You may find your identification in the words of God.